Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is Eco Global Survival, another episode of my multiplayer Let's Play, playing with my viewers. Uh, so I, first of all, I want to apologize for there not being a video yesterday. I was extremely busy in real life. Uh, I did get a chance to log in and play a little bit of Eco, but I basically spent that whole time trying to make sure my store was stocked with uh, steel and iron items. Didn't really have a chance to make any content, so I do apologize for that. So the plan for today is to get the oil drilling setup done. We get our skill in five hours. We have the oil drilling uh, book or whatever. We just need just need to get the, our star, but we also need to get our setup. So we have out here, claimed once property where there's oil. We started building a road there. We're not there yet, so we're gonna have to finish the road. So that's gonna be a big priority today. But obviously we're gonna have to keep making steel, keep making glass, keep everything, uh, keep everybody supplied and I need to make some more advanced upgrade threes here wait I thought I had advanced upgrade twos in storage somewhere right there oh and that is a lot of broken tools people have been using my tool shop and uh this chest here this is basically everything I need uh, right to this point this is everything I need for my oil setup we got some pump jacks Got a windmill, which will power the mechanical water pump. The water pump will go into the steam engine. Steam engine will power the waste filter. And we got the oil refinery, and we have a large lumber stockpile. So that is everything I need out there. But we need to get our bridge out to our eventual oil platform. And then we need to build our oil platform. And yeah, that's a lot of broken tools. So let's, uh, because this, I have two stores right now. One of them is basically a, a tool shop. Um, I sell new tools and I buy back old broken tools. And then I repair them and put them back up for sale, essentially, which people have obviously been taking advantage of. So that's the plan for today. Oil, 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 oil is the big priority. Obviously, we're going to do some mining. We're going to make sure we keep iron and steel well stocked or as well stocked as we can. <laughs> we will try to keep them well stocked, I guess I should say. So yes, that's the plan for today. Hopefully we can uh, accomplish it. It is um, it is a lot, to be fair. I'm asking for a lot. Oh, what happened? Where'd that go? Right there. All right. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to put it in action. I will be back. All right. So I was just down uh, Axel's place to buy some food. You can see Axel's place there. It looks like he's uh, continuing to... Uh, work on his house work in progress looks good i always like axel's build i figured i'd stop in to see goody while i was down here haven't been over to see his house in quite some time and i need a uh just bought a salt basket as you can see in my hopper there for my house because you know maybe someday i'd like to uh improve my house so you got the uh, perimeter wall here i like that and you can see the house over there that's a nice looking house i'm gonna be honest especially considering that's all like tier one materials that's uh I wish I was <laughs> as good at building houses. Got the garage for the tractor. It's a nice looking house. I like the windmills. I'm assuming, yeah, he's a miller. So that's why he needs all those windmills. Got the silo. I assume this is like his starter hut, I would say. Yeah. And it looks like he's got a work in progress tier two. House and or workshop started here. I'm looking forward to what this looks like. Based off that, I assume it's going to be pretty nice. Got all his crops out here. Anyway, I hadn't been down to see Goody's Place on uh, for the video yet, so I figured I'd, I'd do that because it's a, it's a nice looking spot. All right, back to the mission at hand. All right, so just checking out the sunset here over my bridge, which is now completed. I believe. Well, I mean, it's it's done in as much as I've reached my destination. I do want to go back, make it asphalt, make it five wide instead of four wide, you know, etc. But I reached my claim, or close enough to it. I might go back and buy a few. So this is where my oil platform is going to be. So let's look at the oil fields. So basically, I mean, you can put you can put an oil uh, pump jack anywhere, and you will get oil. It's just much faster. If it's on like yellow and white, right? So we got a really solid white spot here. So we'll definitely put a couple pumps here. Maybe, what do I, I think I have six right now, right? 
So maybe what I'll do is I'll put six pumps around here, put a big stockpile here, maybe my oil refinery here, and then later on I'll add some more pumps here. So I only have six for now, and that's probably enough for now. I might want to expand it later. I know the row is already taking oil drilling. I don't know how many other people are planning to take it. Oh, and I do have my point as well. Looks like it's just row right now. So let's take it. Oil drilling level one. Yes. Perfect. All right. So now I, I can actually make barrels now. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to make some barrels. I'm going to come out here with a bunch of uh, hewn logs and start making the platform. Um, I'll probably grab a few roads while I'm back in town as well. And uh, we'll get started making the actual oil platform. Like I said, the bridge is done. That's a big part of it. I'm glad to have the bridge done. Obviously, the oil platform is also a step that needs to be completed, but it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Actually, I might have to go. Hmm, I might have to go grab some coal while I'm here, though. Yeah, yikes! Yeah, I got to make that corner in this part of the road wider. This is this is sketchy. I'm going to be making this trip many, many times. Right? I don't want it to be sketchy like this. <laughs> this part is sketchy right here. This needs to be widened. Like this. Yeah. I need more ramps here, I feel like. I mean, I haven't failed it yet, but yeah. Anyway, and I, I want to dig up all this sand, you know, because sand is really slow. Put some asphalt roads here. This stone road bridge is fine. Maybe make it a little wider just to be safe. Etc. But right now, I just need to worry about getting the oil platform up and running. So I'm going to go do that. All right, the oil platform is coming along quite nicely. So you can see, I have the pump jacks down. Six of them. I got the stockpile down. I have a space here for the refinery. So I need the refinery, the waste filter, a steam engine, mechanical pump, water pump, and a windmill all here. I think that might be enough space. I just got to make sure to put, I'm going to have to do some more claims. Oh, are these claimed? Owned by Lachera. So that means it's claimed, right? Yeah. I might need to claim here as well. Um, I can probably unclaim this. But I got to keep in mind too that if I add pump jacks, it'll likely be like here, maybe here. So when I place the steam engine, I want it to be central. So maybe if I put it like here, it'll reach everywhere, hopefully, including all these. <laughs> so I got a bunch of mortars. Yeah, so yeah, the uh, the platform is ugly because it's like three different types of wood, as you can see by the different colors. I don't care what it looks like. I just need it to exist. That's it. That's all. I'm not putting any considerations for aesthetics out here. This just needs to work. Simple as that. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to get all the other equipment that needs to come out here. I'm going to get uh, the oil. I did make some barrels. I had some barrels queued up. So I'm going to go grab the barrels, grab everything else. Ooh, I'm going to need some pipes too. Um, can I turn around up here? Can I turn around here without going in the water? <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to grab some pipes too, as I was saying. So I'm going to go do that. All right. The oil platform is working, as you can see. Uh, the only thing is I don't have the refinery making anything yet, but we got our six pump jacks kicking out full barrels of oil here. As you can see, we got some already. We got our windmill making just enough power. It's making 200 power, which is exactly what we need. Exactly what we need for... Uh, for this thing so it's putting water into here and into here it's funny i brought all these pipes with me and like i barely am using any like this is literally one pipe there's like two pipes there <laughs> and then like two pipes here and one pipe there that's all i needed so there's a refinery obviously there's our waste filter so the waste uh, one thing i'll have to keep an eye on though is the compost is going to go into this big stockpile and it will fill with compost eventually so I will have to come out and uh, deal with that. And you will notice too, I brought charcoal um, to power the steam engine and the oil refinery. But I mean, charcoal, it stacks to 100. It lasts a lot longer than coal, but it's also really expensive. 
This is actually not working. Sewage in pipe, input pipe is disconnected. It's not. I mean, it's right there. I'm assuming that's just because this isn't actually doing anything yet. So I'm probably going to focus on plastic right now. Because we're mostly going to turn the plastic into fiberglass. Um, we'll make a little bit of epoxy and put it for sale just in case people need it. But um, And plastic as well. But I'm mostly going to be... The oil drill, the purpose of me taking oil drilling is primarily to make plastic, to make fiberglass. But again, I will do some epoxy and nylon and synthetic rubber and everything else. But I mean, Rose is also doing that stuff right now. So there's, and I don't know, I'm, I think somebody else was planning to take oil drilling. I don't remember who though. Is Rose selling this stuff yet? Let's see. That's Josh's store. It would help if you actually check Rose's place there, Looch. <laughs> um, not there. What about here? Well, I guess what I could do... Make your own MU3. Can we even do MU2s yet? I don't think we can do MU2s yet. Maybe we can I didn't think we could. Or I could just do this. Probably a lot easier, quicker to do it like this. See, I think he's primarily... He primarily took oil drilling to make composites out of, right? Yeah, he's not selling any epoxy right now. But I'm not sure how much demand there is for epoxy right now either. At any rate. Yeah, look at all the pipes I brought that I didn't need. <laughs> well, I can sell them. And I'm hoping, again, if I expand out this way, windmill might be in the way a bit, but I'm hoping the steam engine will power them. But how much power are we using? We're making 1,000. We're demanding 600. So these use, what, 100 apiece? Yeah, so when this fires, this uses 250. So realistically, I can't put any more. I can only put one more. In unless I add an extra steam engine. All right, so this will uh, probably have to be it then, but I'm not going to queue anything up here because I, I have a modern upgrade one. I forgot to bring one. I'm going to go back, grab some more barrels, uh, drop off this crap, bring the modern upgrade one, and then we'll start making some plastic. That's the plan. I got to finish expanding this road too. I'd like it to be asphalt the whole way, and I'd like, also like to change the beach over to asphalt. I did, uh, as you can see there, that scary corner, I did add a couple ramps to make it a little less scary. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still scary, but it's slightly less scary than it was. <laughs> but the sand is so slow, you gotta get that changed. You gotta get that changed. Yeah, see, now you can kind of go like this, whip it around like that. A lot less. <laughs> A lot less butt clenching going on now. All right, so that's done. It's nice to have that done. Again, I, I would like to expand it at some point, but for now, it's good. I'm happy. And that's good. All right. So I'm not sure what else I'm going to do today. Maybe, I don't know. Just a few things I should look at, I guess. I'm going to go back to base and figure it out, and I'll be back. All right, well, I thought of one thing I definitely want to do, um, this ramp up the hill from my place. We're going to fix this. We're going to make it wider. It's only too wide here at one point, and that's just, that's not acceptable. I'm not having that. So we're going to fix that first and foremost. I was just on my way to uh, buy some food from Axel here, and I realized, you know what, Luch, you really need to fix that. So uh, I'm going to. <laughs> this, will, this is... Yeah, this is task number one on my list right now. And I mean, obviously, fixing my house is, is on the list, but I don't know. I'm just not in the house mood right now, you know? Sometimes you're in the mood to build your house, sometimes you're not. And right now I'm not. So I'm going to do this instead. <laughs> I will be back when it's done. There is another small project I can cross off the list. It is now much easier to get up this hill. It is still kind of weird because it kind of, like the road comes this way and then it kind of goes this way. But at least it's, I think, at least four wide everywhere now, right? 
because there was a two wide section in here earlier. That's that was the thing I really wanted to get rid of. I didn't want any four wide. And who's building a little place up here? Savage Turtle Burrow. Okay, little store I assume. A little closer, a little closer to the action because Savage Turtle I think is the one who lives right over there, if I remember correctly. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. <laughs> There's some people that, you know, that have been on, but not a whole lot, so I don't always remember where they live type of thing. But the people that are on every day, I, you know, I remember where they live. So, hey, if you want me to remember where you live, just log in every day. That's fair, right? <laughs> uh, just kidding. Mostly. Not really. Oh, what did I just do? I did not want to put what? There's something I want to keep, wasn't there? That's no, fine. All right, so we've got lots of car. Oh, yeah, this. This, that's what we want in there, Chuck. Crush Slag. So let's go sell our Crush Slag to other Shadow or Josh. They're both usually looking to buy Crush Slag. And I'm always willing to sell Crush Slag, that's for sure. And then we'll run some barrels out. We'll put this modern upgrade in. And we'll start making some plastic. All right, so I'm back out at the oil platform. I brought some more barrels out. So we'll drop those off. And I realize... And I have the modern upgrade. I realized I didn't do a great job of explaining how this whole process works when I was out here before. So I'm going to do that now. So essentially, um, as long as you have empty barrels in a linked storage, this will turn an empty barrel into a petroleum barrel. It takes 4 minutes and 27 seconds here. So all three of these are 4 minutes 27 seconds. If you go to these, you'll notice it's 4 minutes 12 seconds. So that's what I was talking about. You can get oil anywhere. It's just how long does it take to fill a barrel, right? So that's why we we went here because this is decent for filling a barrel, right? And you can see this is a little worse, right? So that makes sense. Um, I was talking to Ro, and he said hit one of his spots. It's 3 minutes, 20 seconds. I wish I had that. I don't. It's fine. just means I'm going to have to add more pumps out here. And it'll probably be about four minutes out here too, I would assume. Four, four and a half minutes. So the full barrels of oil, obviously, are put into the storage. And then we take the barrels here, we turn them into plastic. So we have 57 barrels, so let's actually just queue up like 50 plastic. Which actually gives us 100, because you get two. Right now, obviously, we don't have enough barrels right now, but they will get filled. But what happens too, so I'm losing, what is that, 180 barrels? But I get 135 back. So you always lose some barrels in the process. So it's just a never-ending cycle, right? So the full barrels we've made into plastic. Then the empty barrels will get refilled again. Until eventually, eventually you will run out, right, of barrels. But it takes a long time. So let's eat here. We got some new food, too. We got, uh, we got fruit tarts. We got some pizza. We got hearty hometown pizza. We got tasty tropical pizza. These are new in the patch too. And we got a clam chowder. I think this was new in the patch as well. So we're gonna go clam chowder because we're a little short on carbs right now. Now we're short of vitamins. Let's go with a fruit tart. Okay. Let's finish that up. And let's go with another fruit tart. So yeah, so that's also why I said I wanted charcoal out here. Right? So we've burned 14 charcoal already. Right, so we can hold 200. If we were doing coal, we could only hold 40. Like we'd be, you know, we'd be out here all the time getting coal. So the way we're doing this is to not have to come out here constantly, right? Is the plan, the hope. So this is working now, right? Yes. Because remember before, I, it, this wasn't checked, but I was. it was because there was no sewage actively coming in. So we are going to be polluting out here <laughs> real bad. That's fine. Yeah, already. Like we, I go, oh, yeah, that this is coming from the uh, steam engine. It's going to get even worse now that we just turned the refinery on, right? <laughs> but, yeah, is what it is. I might actually even add another part, little platform out here with a stockpile just for the waste filter. I mean, it's going into this big one now. I mean, the big one can hold a lot, right? Yeah, we're probably okay just using this. Now that I think about it real question will be if we want to continue to use charcoal or not. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I'm not sure. At any rate, I'm going to go mine up some more coal. Go and mine up some more limestone, I think. 
but that does not need to be on camera that is going to be all for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already join my discord um if you want to play eco not necessarily on this server but on a server with me and all the fine folks we have here the information in discord um we play some other games um as a group i played arc i played satisfactory uh factorio uh, we're talking about playing new world um at the end of the month um icarus that comes out in november uh, you know all basically survival base building factory building games um and we talk about other games as well like the uh, tycoon type games that i play anyway join my discord if you enjoy my stuff follow me on twitter and most importantly have a great day be good to each other and i'll see you in the next one